I used to pay people to talk on the mic for me because I was terrified of touching the microphone. And this is at like Sky Zone. Like this isn't <laughs> this isn't anywhere yeah. like serious, you know? Yeah. Like this is at like an eighth grade formal. I yeah. was like, boom, we're splitting the pay and you're talking. Sure. But like, yeah, I used to be terrified of it. Welcome to Selling Your Circle. I'm your host, Juliana Gainsburg, And on this show, we talk all things business development, entrepreneurship, and investing. Each week, we'll have a different guest because after all, it's about expanding the circle and keeping it fed. If you like what you hear, follow us on all of your favorite streaming platforms. Welcome back to Selling Your Circle podcast. I'm your host, Juliana Gainsburg, And today, I am here with the one and only... Nico Oso. Hey. hey. What an introduction. Thank you so much for having me. I have been, you've been on my list. What kind of list is this? So I have like a shared note. I think Dom's on it too. Of all the people of like what they do. A little like sometimes I'll add like a little extra of like why I want them on the podcast. And yeah. then I have like the open circles and it's like check them off. As nice. Them. So like what's next to my name? Is the is French fry connoisseur next to my name? <laughs> it wasn't, but I can add that. I yeah, didn't know that was a it. thing. Oh, dude. French fry connoisseur? I, actually, What's no, your favorite type of French fry? Like truffle fry. Listen, this is not the time. We need to go out and I will show you the best place to get food in general. I'm like a big foodie. Are you a foodie? Fuck yeah. Yeah, bro. I'm trying to like eat. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. Oh my gosh. Can you tell I'm hungry? Uh, yeah, I've, but no, I've, but I've, obviously, like, snacks over there. dude, there's hella snacks in here. I wish you guys could see like what I'm seeing because this is like, a, this is legit. What's the name of the podcast again? Selling Your Circle. Selling Your Circle. Yeah. It sounds like selling your soul, but it's not that. No. <laughs> it's better. You than basically that. do, but not. Yeah. Okay. Like, Wait, I do? You sold your soul to your business. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, if, no, it does. It feels great. <laughs> but, does, but in like a good way. Yeah. Hell yeah. No, it has all of me. Pause. But like, <laughs> this is going great so far what uh <laughs> all right so let's sell the circle what are we doing so basically <laughs> what i do is and i have people on the reason you're in my circle of some sort right yeah so you, you i know you already know this about me uh-huh. just from knowing me but i'm all about putting people on saying people's names and rooms like yeah they're in my circle and continuing to bring more people into the circle so that they meet other people and it's not like a click it's more of a ever-growing circle of people yeah thank you people connect and then it just like grows and grows and grows and grows grows. for sure so first things first is thank you for like allowing me into your circle because your circle is like tight knit like you heavy hitters you know what i'm saying i've been working on it i appreciate that i really do um but you were a contributor to that really i don't know i'm fucking with you um i you are him (laughs) Like what are we talking Stop. about? Don't say it. Don't fl- look. Look at me blush. Don't flat. Don't flatter me with the dude. Hymn, okay, so I just went um, today. It's gonna be posted. This is uh, Thursday, July twentieth. Today <laughs> it's getting posted. I'm on this other Instagram channel that does updates for all different DJs that are performing on the weekend. They post it every Thursday, and I'm like. Uh, somebody in the industry I feel like I just no, like inserted a- myself into it even though I don't yeah. DJ I don't work at a bar I don't run a club but when that video drops you're about to be heard <laughs> this is the video like if you're looking for something to do in Philly that's of substance like yeah it's amazing the- yeah. I love those girls like they put out if you want to if you're into house or techno or honestly all different types of music from Thursday to Sunday, they will have the list of everywhere you need to know, like what's going on, whether it's South Philly or, you know, West Philly, Northern Liberties, wherever it's at. And it's just such a cool community that they're growing. And just like, I've sent it to people and they're like, oh my God, like, this is awesome. Now I know like what I want to do this weekend. So I reached out to them and I'm like, hey, if you ever need me to like fill in, if somebody backs out last minute, because I'm just thinking like, I don't know what their guidelines are to like be on it. And they were like, yeah you want to do this? Like, of course. Like they were like excited that I was so passionate about wanting to do it. So anyways, I posted a behind the scenes that I was doing it and Nico slid up and was like, oh, like you're really hard if you're doing the cosmic callings. And I was like, that is the nicest thing ever. Because that, like, they have the exact wording. What, do you, do you remember what the script, like what, what it is? Like how you say it? Um, like the intro? Yeah, what's the intro? It's, um, you say your name, like, hi, my name is Juliana, and this is your week's Cosmic Callings. Like, yo, if you hear that, <laughs> like, when you see this video, I promise you it's gonna make your entire day. This is like, it's literally, it's a staple of, um, 
I don't know, like the Philly and the Philly music scene, but in this specific sector of the scene yeah. that you're doing it, it's like those those people like that, highly respected. Yeah, bro, we're talking my group da- chat. dance music. We're talking music <laughs> aficionados. Like this, this is like real life, like deep Philly cut yeah. stuff. Like if you know, you know, yeah. and you know you're well, talking. I about will it. say I am very thankful that a very good friend of mine, this guy Kyle, that I've been friends with for a couple of years now. I lived with him for a little period of time and he was very much like not a DJ, but he was just in that scene for a very long time. Like he was part of different clubs. Like before that was Yev and like, you know, other places like that rumor and all that. And he had so many friends in that space and just literally was like, this is Jewel. Like everyone meet her. And then I obviously did what I did with that, you know, meet new people, make friends, whatever. But if it wasn't for him, I would have like no idea about, I don't think I'd be sitting here, honestly. And there's just so many people in that space that I've met through him. So that's like a big like trajectory changer for me. That's huge. And literally selling your circle, you know? Like it he's all, a mortgage lender. It all comes back around. Yeah. Is he really? So that's how I became friends with him. He's a mutual friend of mine from the business when I first got licensed. Mm-hmm. And he's a mortgage lender and he lived in Philly. And then when I moved to the city, mm. I like connected with him more because I was down here and we just became like BFFs. Boom. And he he be around? Yeah. So he's still he's still kicking it. Hell oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I gotta meet this we guy. went to disclosure at the Av on a Wednesday, not this past April. The April before is my first show at the Av. Mm-hmm. And it was a Wednesday night and he was like, you want to just like go to this? Like my friends aren't really like nobody really doing anything. And like when you're in real estate, you don't have a nine to five. So like you kind of just make up your own schedule. Like, should I have gone out on Wednesday night? Probably not. But like, like, did I hand out a business card? Yes. Selling your circle. I met people that night. Yeah, exactly. For sure. But that was just like, I just, I think also part of it was like, I just said yes to everything. I didn't know what I was going to and. Totally yeah. just like game changer. I was like sucked in. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. Um, how do you feel? So I've been saying this a lot recently. I want to I want to know your thoughts on it. I feel like saying yes to something is a lot more expensive than saying like no to something. Like if you say yes to something, it can open the doors for like a bunch of other things to happen versus like saying no and like the power of no. So I have like the correct answer that I might not even really go by at the moment yeah but if I was just telling you what I think is the right thing to say to that is and I'll take this back to like business right so in real estate or what I've taught been taught is you create what we call is a GPS Mm -hmm. and you basically write down it's like a one pager of like the one thing you want um the three ways to get there and the five strategies for the three things. Mm. And so when you are approached like, and this is just kind of like a example, but like, let's say we're talking about business in that sense. And someone says, you should buy these ads. You should spend this money on these ads. Mm -hmm. And it's like for whatever. And you're like, Oh, like this would be such a good idea. Like I'll get business from this. But then you go back to your GPS and like, nothing says you should be spending $1,200 on these ads. Mm, Okay. So the way I look at it is if I'm getting invited to go to a club Mm -hmm. and there's not really any benefit to me going and it's during the week and it doesn't align with my schedule and it's not like the type of people I want to be around, but it's going to be a good time and you never know who you're going to (laughs) meet. I get that because I have said yes to things that I may have not said yes to. And then it turned out to be really awesome. Yeah. Like it's worked out before. But if you're like <laughs> trying to be super dialed in, it really, you just have to just assess everything, right? Like what, what am I going to? What's the reason? Is it positive? You know, am yeah. I going just because I want to be seen somewhere or am I going? Yeah. Cause I am intentional about it. Yeah. And or am thought- I taking a DJ gig because I just need the money Or because it's going to give me more opportunity. Like, I know some DJs that really don't want to do weddings anymore. Mm. So, like, am I just... I'll be be honest about my wedding. I was scared to do weddings for years because I had one wedding go really bad. Uh, (laughs) Tom starts laughing. (laughs) I know. It's like, (laughs) demise. Um, But, yeah, I had a a wedding go really bad. It wasn't even really my fault, but, like, when uh, the song went to go drop, right? So it's, like, the first song of the reception, you know, whatever. And then um, just blew the whole power out in the whole venue, you know, just, like, pitch black, dark. It was like, three, two, one, let's go. Nothing. 
And um, for a real drop. Yeah. So after that, I was like, ah, I don't know about weddings. Well, so it then came I stopped. Back on. Yeah. Um, yeah, they had to like reset the break. You know, it's just like embarrassing to like. But that might not that. even been your I've fault. I've also also the worst thing about weddings, bro, is the like the official stuff that you have to do. Yeah. And um, so like you know, reading people's names during their most important moment of their life. Yeah. You know, and I, yeah. sometimes an A looks like an E, and then I just you know just say it the Speaking wrong way. Speaking of saying things, first of all, tell them who you are. Tell wait what the audience who you are, the listeners. What's up? Who is Nico? So. <laughs> wait, what do you want me to people say? People might not know really? what do you do, who you oh, are. Sure. I mean, okay. most people know, but some no, might no, not. For sure. Um, okay, so uh, hi, I'm Nico. I uh, I DJ. I spin records uh, all across the United States. Um, based here in Philly. I'm from Delaware originally, and uh, I also produce music, original music producer. Um, also just creative, like I make my own branding, marketing videos, um, really just, you know, fully into it. And um, yeah, I run Damaged Goods, which is uh, a creative collective agency that kind of has a bunch of DJs and just creatives in there. And we all cook up here in the tri-state area. And um, yeah, just a lot of moving, shaking. You're um, on the radio. I'm on the radio as well. Q102. I have my own show, uh, 9 to 2 p.m. on Saturdays called Saturday Night Wire. Boom. Mm. Please tune in. And then uh, Sunday Fun Day, 3 to 8 p.m. And then I also DJ for the union, official DJ, um, all the in-game stuff. So, yeah, it's a long list. Yeah. Oof. Pretty cool. But um, it's Pretty it's been special. a long time coming. And, um, you know, it's been all about just staying true to, like, myself, my sound, the brand. Like, you know, you, the amount of times I could tell you that people have said, yo, you need to switch this or, or, or like, yeah. you know, just pushing their own um, advice and things onto me thinking like, no, nah, just be yourself and like try your best, obviously, every day and then um, do good business. Yeah. The power of like good business, you know, and people coming back and returning and, and um, you know, investing in you because you invested in them. So I like to think of myself as a hustler and I think that's why I respect the fuck out of you for this. <laughs> But you are around the world in a weekend. Yeah. And like, I feel, and I feel you're, like you you're everywhere to, and back. Yeah. Which, like, don't get me Mr. wrong. Mr. 215 to the 609. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm, listen, I'm in the 305 next week. My yes. Andy, I'm coming. But it's a, um, you know, it's definitely a challenge, but it's also you need that worldly uh, influence environment. Yeah. Like, you can't get stuck in the fishbowl, you know? Like, we got to go out and, like, get some, get some new inspo. Like, um, you know, experience the world, bring some of that essence back to yeah. Philly and, and back home. So I just think like you obviously are passionate about it, which is like the first, <clears throat> that's like the best part of it. Like yeah. it's your thing, you know, I just, I know like for instance, when we were in AC, mm -hmm. like you had gigs, multiple gigs every day. Yeah, I was coming from one, and then I was headed to one. And, and then, oh, I'm just going to pop in real quick at John bye, Summit. Yeah, pop in real quick. <laughs> they gave me the band. It was Oh, my crazy. God. Can we talk about that? I think, yeah, I think we can. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. Sorry, guys. It's fine. Yeah, no, it's fine. Dude, I mean, you know I was respectful. People, you know how many people do it? It's cool. Do you know how many people I had at the table? <laughs> I hope Alec One too many. Me. One too Alec. many. <laughs> Sorry. I had a couple of bottles. I don't know what to tell you. It's fine. She was going anyway. crazy. You was up, yo. <laughs> Her table was right in the in front of John. John was like, hey. Julia was like, hey. I was like, yo. Okay, so listen. I, I'm not a casual drinker. Like, I think I put out a perception that, like, I'm out and I'll have maybe a sea aisle in my hand. I'm always down for an, a sea aisle, especially if it's the white can. We have the mango and the lemonade today. Mm -hmm. it's yeah. Mango's fire, by well, the way. Crack it right now. Casual, drink, <laughs> casual drinker. But I really, I'm, I'm not. <laughs> like, I really am not a big, like, I don't get like drunk multiple nights a week yeah. if any it's maybe once and that's yeah. like generous so when i have an opportunity where like nobody's driving i'm a big like safety thing mm -hmm. and i also being that i've always been the younger one in the group i've always had this thing about like i don't like to ever look sloppy like i don't ever want to yeah. be pegged of oh of course she's like that because she's 23 or 24 or whatever age i'm i am so i've always had that in my mind but no one's driving we have a safe area. We're with our friends. We're in the, down the shore. Like, I'm like, this is my time. And we're listening to potentially one of the best DJs walking the planet right now. He He's been on it. Phenomenal. Music. So Nico shows up in between gigs. 
Yes. And it's pretty late in the day. I'm not going to lie. So I'm uh, I'm feeling pretty great. And, you know, I've been out in the sun all day <laughs> um, with all my friends. The vibes are immaculate. The music's great. Like, there's just nothing. Everything is amazing. Yeah. And he, Nico comes up to me and he goes, like, discreetly looks at me and goes, I'm going to take this wristband. You're going to go over there and they're going to let you in to DJ booth area. And I just look at him and I'm like, He's like, he, he was like, don't tell anyone, just go. Just turn around and go. I was like, okay. <laughs> so I yeah. grab my bouncer. I say my bouncer because this guy is mine now. Like I, yeah, all yo, day. And she, listen, she was gone. I was like, hold on, wait, let me get you water. And I turned back around and gone. Boom. So I grabbed my bouncer and I'm like, yo, I have this wristband. It's legit. But like, I don't know how to get there. And I didn't have my glasses on, so I'm blind. So I'm like, I need you to take me there. And he like looked at it and he was like, all right. So he literally escorts me to the area and I'm just back there in awe. Like I'm like behind John Summit and I'm just like looking at everything and I'm like, this is phenomenal. I took like one video and I like enjoyed the rest of like another like 30 or 40 seconds of like the song. And I'm like, all right, I'm like too drunk to be back here by myself. I gotta yeah. go. <laughs> and I immediately came back and I like purposely put the wristband on so that I could like Give it back to you. Yeah, which I was Sorry, surprised. HQ, everybody, listen, we spent more than enough money. It's fine. <laughs> like, it's totally fine. I'm surprised you, like, came back so quick. I was like, bro, I definitely would have been over there. I think it was just because, like, honestly, it was chaos over there. That That's another thing of why I wanted you to feel that. Because, like, we were in the front. We had our own little yeah. vibe. And then uh, I made my rounds, made it back there. And when, when you're back there, like, in the pit yeah. and stuff, like you can really feel what's going on. You yeah. know, everyone is locked in. Everyone's like watching his every movement. And uh, I don't know, it's just different. It was definitely like a really cool experience. I'm very thankful that you did that. Oh, yeah, no, of course. Um, That was, uh, yeah, to, I was like, I'm just going to go back now. For me, that was like <laughs> a little, you know, thank you slash not initiation, but just like, you know, we're, we're, we're in the same circle now. Like, let, like let's yeah. get busy. Let me show you like what, you know. I don't know possible. if I'll have time or feel like finding this video. But um, the next day I'm like going through all my pictures and like videos and stuff. And I find this video of you and I, and you just like, I must have pressed the record <laughs> button and you just, your brain just went mm, turn on. on. And you were like full DJ voice. Wow, handgun. What up, what up, what up? We in the building. You already know. Like, yeah. and I was just like, Bro, it was just great. It's, it was, autom it's automatic. So let's talk about that. Yeah. When did you get to a point where like, how do you learn your DJ voice? Like, your announcer, like, your little snippet push Yeah, in. so um, I think, uh, okay, so, like, once you get the DJing stuff down, right, yeah. and you're super comfortable up there, and then you go see other DJs or you listen to other forms of media, like, you start to just notice little nuances of things, right? So sports announcers, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that. this has been my favorite thing recently has been to listen to uh, sports talk radio or, you know, the, the Phillies game announcer. Cause like you're watching visual concepts and also hearing it, but mostly like it's what they're saying that you're really intrigued with, right? you know? So, um, nuances in the voice energy in the voice, shout out to the whole Q crew for like, really like teaching me and like putting me on to the science behind it. But really what it is, is it's your personality. You just got to yeah. unleash it and like, don't hold back. And so, um, you know, some of my inspirations in terms of voice were like uh, DJ Camillo, Funk Flex, like New York style, like very in your face. Yo, yo, yeah. like, you know, just loud and just present, like listen to me type thing. Yeah. Um, Diamond Cuts is really I good. was just going to say Diamond Cuts. Like yeah. that's for me, not to like age myself, I guess I already did earlier, but like I have like specific memories of like just listening to Diamond Bro, Cuts on like, a Friday nights, night or a Saturday night. Late, yeah. She's yelling, let's yeah. go. Like, what a it's just it's just that or energy. like her like little um I don't it's not her saying it, it's somebody else saying like DJ Diamond Cuts. Yeah. Hi, hi. Yes, like yes. Classic, <laughs> and Power 99, they do a great job of yeah. um that's like our sister station. So like Q102 is right across the hallway from yeah. uh, Power 99. So like do they do a great job of just tapping in with um the people by way of voice, by way of energy? Like um so, so yeah, definitely a lot of inspiration from Diamond Cuts. And then it just took me a while to get just get uncomfortable. You know what's crazy is um let me see if you know them. You know DJ Bry? Or like any other like damage goods? Like I do know some of the damage goods. I went to a Harris pool party with um, Mara. Fine. I probably know their fate, like know them if I saw them. So um, this was before I had my little wedding incident. Uh, 
brings so, it back up. Yeah, trauma. Yeah. Tra- sorry, I'm still scarred. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, upcoming weddings. Everything's going to be good. I promise. <laughs> that um, was not your fault. No, I know. But like it, you know, who does it come down? Like they looked at me, you know, <laughs> like they didn't wear. And like, you're like, yo, I'm Nico like, Oso <laughs> and you're. Venue is shit. They were like, Can't oh even my hold god. on to this good DJ that you booked. They were like, oh my god, the venue. They were like, no, the DJ. Why is the lights off? Like, what is going on? Um, I yeah, used to pay people to talk on the mic for me because I was terrified of touching the microphone. And this is at like Sky Zone. Like this isn't <laughs> this isn't anywhere yeah. like serious. You know, yeah. like this is at like an eighth grade formal. I yeah. was like, boom, we're splitting the pay, and you're talking. I'm doing the. I'm doing the, um, you know, the handwork, but like, yeah, I used to be terrified of it. I just think as like a female, I mean, I guess it's not, it's not really, there's no real difference, but cause obviously Diamond Cuts doesn't and she does perfectly fine. But I just think it's like, you have to get really comfortable with your voice. Like even when I first started podcasting, I didn't love the way I sounded like listening to it back. You got to be comfortable with the voice and also just go like go up there. And it's not necessarily like people want you to go up there and look at you and people want you to say something. You know what I mean? Like say anything that's like, okay, you know, I got to find this when you're (laughs) when you're going up there, like you're in your head already. Like, oh, I need to say something. I need to be funny. Like I need to be personable right now. I need to like like no, literally go up there, be yourself and um, not. Like, people can sense if you're trying too hard type of yeah. thing. Like, you know who's really phenomenal on the microphone would be, like, Nugget. Like, Nugget yeah. is insane. And that's someone like, that's been on radio, too, for, like, a long time. Yeah, but he's even, in like, better, like, in person. Um, I actually wouldn't imagine that. Yeah, yo. Like, he can really hold a crowd and just engage them. And just, he knows, like, when to crack a joke, when to be serious. Like, just the crowd control and, yeah. Yeah, well, that's, like, that's a skill that you... But you my practice over time. I'm yeah. sure, like you said, you were like scared. I learned to do a lot it. from him. Like I've learned how to like let myself just m- let my personality kind of come out. But like if it wasn't for him or the cute or Buster or any of them, like I would be DJ voice all the time, which you can't be. You know, okay, I'm gonna play it. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> this is like I want this to we'll bring. We'll I want this to be video. like my uh, alarm clock. Oh God, <laughs> I'm scared, guys. Hold on, I think it's in the cage. You know what it is? Jules in the field. What up? We outside. There he is. <laughs> like, I'm just like, the sick is in the game. I think it's in the cage. You know what it is? Jules in the field. What up? Yeah. So that that's the DJ voice? That's the DJ voice, bro. And he just like. What do you think? I just looked at him and he just turned it on. I think it's great. I, I think- love it. <laughs> I love it so much. I want to record you saying like, <laughs> like it's like DJ Khaled saying like, you know, Bro, like whatever. Like I like what Drake like. Right, literally. <laughs> I want you to be my alarm clock that's like, the sick is in the game. It's time to get up. Wipe that crust out your eyes, Jules. Is <laughs> <laughs> Wake up, girl. <laughs> you five minutes late. <laughs> it's like we can rip some i got you dude i'm telling you we should sell that <laughs> this episode is brought to you by castle public adjusters if you have fallen victim to property damage castle public adjusters is your first and only call they will make sure that you get the maximum compensation for your property loss remember avoid the hassle just call castle 215-752-1237 wait speaking of like little snippets and stuff like that yeah. i was it's not really the same thing It has nothing to do with what we're talking about. It just popped into my mind, and I want to make sure that we cover this. I was scrolling on TikTok the other day, and I saw your, um, like, virtual reality DJing. Yeah. That's sick. Can we talk about that for a minute? Because that I'm not seeing anyone doing that. Yeah, no no one has, like, asked me about it or, like... um, so uh, I did my research. Hell yeah, yeah. Th- <laughs> thank you. Um, so I go to this thing every year. Well, th- so there's DJ expos. Yeah. Right. So there's one in Atlantic City coming up um, August, I think eighth, ninth, tenth. You should absolutely be there okay. if you need a ticket. If you need a ticket, whatever, hit me up. Okay. Uh, DJ Expo in Atlantic City. They have a bigger one, which is it's the it's called NAM, which I'm not gonna. I don't know what the acronym stands for, but it's National Association of something American Music. So everyone that produces music, is involved in the industry, goes to this trade show. It's the biggest trade show on the planet Earth. Like, literally, every single company is there. Stevie Wonder's playing all the new pianos. 
like Diplo's over here touching the new Pioneer stuff. Wow. Whatever. So they have this section that is virtual DJing, right? Which is just the Oculus um, or whatever. And then the app is called Tribe XR. Shout out to Tribe XR. Um, and you can literally like DJ wherever. And, with, and you don't even need equipment anymore. Yeah. Like how crazy is that? Is the That setup that I was on virtually is uh, easily $10,000. But now yeah. all you need is a $250 like yeah. headset, you know? Um, and, you, and you load songs into there via, I think it's like Dropbox or something. And um, it's pretty like accurate, you yeah. know. And so I, uh, I've had that for a while, and I've wanted to do that for a while. But I don't know. Like it's, uh, I feel like the meta and all that other stuff is so new that people don't can't even don't even I understand. I think people kind of like, like shied away from it a little bit after yeah. the pandemic kind of like subsided a bit because it was very <clears throat> much like okay, you're locked in. Like this is something that makes you feel like you're not locked in. And so people yeah. were like running towards it. And then now that people are like, ow, I think people yes. are just being but silly like, about it. Yeah, I cannot stress this enough. Like investing into the, I think it's called Web3 or mm -hmm. like this next level of metaverse stuff. Yeah. That goes with the NFTs that everyone was hype about. That goes with us being creatives. Like yeah. we could do this podcast in the meta and not even be in the same space and yeah. still like, you know, up the productivity and up yeah. the quality and like. Dom's been working on a lot of stuff that's, like, surrounded by that. Bro. That's, like, pretty And it's sick. an untapped, like, super untapped market. Like, if you enter right now, you're one of the pioneers. Like, yeah. literally, people are, like, just putting stuff together. And yeah, um, I think it's a great space. Uh, they throw parties in the metaverse with the DJs and stuff. Like, bro, you know? Like, you can still stay in your bedroom and get uh, and play for 50 people. Yeah. It, on what How long on did what it planet? take you to, like... Well, you already know how to DJ, so you know what the things are. But, like, physically getting it down, like, did it take you long to practice how to, like, get to the level you were? I mean, that video was pretty yeah. good. That So that video, I made it so that it was, like, more touching buttons, not, like, scratching and stuff. Because yeah. it's very, like, finicky a, a yeah. little bit. But the essence of it is there. Yeah. And so if you need to, like, if, all right, I have a show tonight. I'm leaving my equipment in the car. I'll, I'll put the headset on and, and, like, practice real quick with that. Yeah. You know, because it's just, a little, like, easier. Um, I didn't even think about that. Like, it's like you could use it as practicing on like for the real thing. Yeah. And then merging that with the real life thing, I was like, I think this is going to hit because people usually see me in my little office with like that in that setting. But yeah. now there's no equipment. I have this thing on my face and like I and you can transport to like any world, you know. So, yeah. um, do you ever go live on TikTok and do sets? No. It, can I be honest with you? Sure. I don't. I struggle with like TikTok. Okay. Um, have you ever done it on Instagram? In Instagram, I'll go live on T yeah. TikTok. Uh, how do I say? I don't know. It just consumes a lot of time. Like it's like a whole new platform to yeah. me still because I don't spend a lot of time on it. Mm -hmm. Like I don't go and like I don't go for myself. I literally just go to post and get off. Yeah. Um, Which is kind of smart. You can get trapped on there. Yeah. So like I haven't let myself. I feel like I need to let yeah. myself like get trapped. You know. Like, come I here. try to. Like, I I do my best to um, time myself on it. Or be intentional about what I'm doing. Like if I'm looking for content that could ideas to utilize in what I'm doing, mm -hmm. like getting content from other people. Um, but I will say there's like a I have a couple of DJs that I know go live like every day and do yeah. sets and, and like make money from it. Bro, and that's what I'm saying. And it's like and a it's whole, just practice it's a whole thing different them. thing than like what we're what I'm doing or like what we're doing. So I'm yeah. like I think it needs its own dedicated like yeah. time and stuff. I, I, I think I was just thinking of it as like if you're practicing for a gig you have coming up, why not throw it on? Like you don't even yeah. have to pay attention to it. You just start it and that's, then you yeah, just focus right. on what you're I doing. Don't passed, even answer comments. Just like leave it running. I think I just passed um, the amount of followers that you need to like yeah. do that. I think it's a thousand to go live. Yeah. Yo. So one day. <laughs> so I, I like on my social media on Instagram, right? I, uh, I make these routines, which like. I'm now moving towards making a bigger release project. Okay. Like, so I used to put out mixtapes that were like an hour long of like crazy integrated mixes, like skits and different things. I'm going back to that. But before that, I'm doing like 60 second ideas just because social media is so quick that yeah. why am I going to sit here and focus on an hour thing when like I could put three one minute things together? Yeah. So, um, Nugget was always like, yo, you're sleeping on the TikTok game. You're sleeping on TikTok game. Like, just post it there. Post it there. So I was like, fine. I'll stop being a bitch. I post it, and I wake up the next day. Blew up. 400,000 fucking plays. 
on a video from that was old that I just recycled and just did it right. So then, then I have the amount of followers that I need to be able to go live and do all this other stuff. So now I'm like, okay, nugget, I get it. Go to sleep, wake back up, eight hundred thousand uh, plays, and I'm like, bro, this thing is so unpredictable. Like, <laughs> what? You know, like how do? Well, I think certain. Um, like, how do you even know? Certain type of content does really well, like before and afters. Um, I think music and like DJing and like dance music and everything is so hot right now. Yeah. Like, it's like people of all different walks of life are like now into like house music. Yeah, which is crazy and it also is. awesome. It is crazy. My whole my whole feed is like, check out this playlist. Check out this playlist. Yeah. Look do at you know this. how many like little TikToks or like. IG reels that come up on my thing that are like um, short, like 30 second, like just crossovers. And I'm like, damn, I love this. Yeah. It's and like I always share it to my story. And then boom, that person now has four or 500 other people that just saw it. And now they might share it. Like, yeah, it's it, wildfire. It like happens quick. So that TikTok video I was telling you about, I took it, right? Put it on YouTube shorts. Out of here. Really? Out of here. 1.2 million plays or something. And I'm like, I'm going to hold you accountable I'm like, now. bro, I, this whole time I had this video just sitting on my phone, you know, and like I, I never. I'm you know. definitely now going to, now that I know this is what's happening. Yeah. I'm now going to hold you accountable that you have to post. Yeah. And and I I really like, I do like YouTube shorts. Yeah. Um, you can are, monetize are you on, on that quick. See, like for, so this whole thing that I'm, uh, you know how threads came out? <laughs> yeah. I don't like, I'm staying far away from that because like I'm already consumed with yeah. keeping the Instagram up. Going to TikTok, posting there sometimes, and going to YouTube Shorts, but bro, I don't need another platform. You know what I'm saying? And I get it. I multitask well. Yeah, you. I crazy. think I do for the most part. What's your average on your phone time? Well, here, pull it out right now. Oh What's God. your average I'm on your phone time for social media? I'm very embarrassed. Let's see. How do I find? Hold on, that? hold on, viewers. We're trying to spice things up for you, okay? Spicy. What do I search? <laughs> what do I look at? Screen saying? time. Screen time. Thank Dom's you. like, you idiots. Producer Dom. <laughs> Bring up a segment that you oh don't know God. anything about. Wait, how do I do? What do I? <laughs> All right, I'm ready. On a weekly basis? Let's do Let's do weekly basis. Let's go. <laughs> I don't like her face right now. <laughs> Did you find something you don't She's like? She's like trying to think about how to spin this. <laughs> She's like, damn, do I say the... Daily average? That what I'm looking at? I think my here, weekly screen time for Instagram is 12 hours. So it's about two and a half hours a day. I mean, you That's also do business on That's Instagram. That's not that bad. That's, That's not that bad. No. It's not, yeah. But, How about TikTok? <laughs> uh, we got it. This em. can't be right. It's too what's, low, I think. What's it say? <laughs> this <can't. laughs> 53 minutes a daily, an hour a day. Yeah, that can't be right. It says four right. hours, four and a half hours a week. That's good. How much on your uh, messages? <sighs> Messages as in like text messaging? Yeah. Daily average is two hours and seven minutes and it's Whoa. ten hours a week. I do five, that's, five wait, hours. That's fine. A week. That's communication. Wait, this can't be right. Okay. Why? I just feel like I used to get <laughs> notifications that said like you did like nine hours or ten hours. <laughs> like chill out. You're doing uh, too a, much to here's, yeah. here's an it'll also show you how often you pick up your phone. How often do you pick up your phone? hundred and twenty eight times. Damn. A week? Uh today. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? 1 p.m. <laughs> it's his first pickup, 12 a.m. Yo. Well, that's because I was out last night. Damn, girl. You was on it at 12? You were like, pick the <laughs> I was, what was I doing at 12? I was recording a review. Yeah, no, you were outside. It didn't count. Um, I have 159 daily pickups. How many um, notifications, uh, unread text messages do you have right now? I don't know. I have the number off. Hold on, wait. Let me see. Oh, the number's off. You're one of them. Yeah. You know, I don't have, um, yeah, I turned Today off. I spent two hours and 50 minutes so far on social and 24 minutes on creative. What the fuck is creative? CapCut. That's what it is, actually. <laughs> um, I do love CapCut. I, uh, so most of my stuff that I make used to be in Final Cut. Okay. It would take me three times as long to right. get done. Now on CapCut, and they have a desktop version too. Yeah, I've been thinking about buying Splice. No. 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 Mara, I, Mara pays monthly for it. No. It's like twenty dollars a month. And so did I'm I. Like, That's my plan of fitness membership. It's not twenty dollars a month. Are you sure? Positive. How much is it? Maybe two ninety nine a month. Oh. 
But CapCut is seven ninety nine, seven ninety nine a month, and so much better. Well, I have CapCut for free, and it's fine. Yeah, I just Wait, got, I just got the pro. Am I paying for it? <laughs> Wait, CapCut has more effects, and it's more versatile, and Splice has what you need, and it's cheaper. So I just recently started doing that because I got yelled at that I was editing all my videos in TikTok and IG. Mm. Like I just do it all. You got to give it that look. You know what I'm saying? You know that. <laughs> you know that look. Wait, I have. You got to give it that. I sh shamelessly, two hundred and seventy-five on red text messages. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go. Money's on the table. No, that's why they're on red. Because <laughs> they're so not I can follow up money. No, so I can go back and like find people. Speaking of Nugget, hey Nugget, just came up. Nugget on air. Q one hundred two. Fireworks yeah, at Oceans. He's that bull, bro. I have a story about to, Q102. You've been to uh, Nuggets Bingo? No, I just saw that today that I want to go. It's this week. Bro. It's popping? Bingo Nuggets poppin'? Bingo. Go to Nuggets Bingo on Instagram. Find out where it's at. You got to go, bro. This is a bingo game like no other. Let's get lit. I'll go. All right, one more question. Yeah. Um, How did you get to be the in-stadium for Union? I think that's so cool. Like, what a cool job. Dude, it's a it's a dream job that I had no like I had no idea that that was um yeah. in the cards for me. Yeah. Um I got linked up through Q102. Mm -hmm. They just uh through Rach specifically, I yeah. think uh Shout out to Rachel me, on the radio. Yeah, and Buster. Um but you know, it's it's a really good fit because they uh they trust in what the creatives do there, right? So they brought in Rach to be a host. Rach you know, you're the best host in the biz. Do your thing. Yeah. Nico, boom, you're a DJ. Do your thing. Like, and so uh, I have to follow a script, but the script only has um, certain songs that I need to play for certain activations. So like uh, Chick-fil-A, Family of the Match, I have to play, you know, We Are Family, like, you know, yeah. songs that match. Besides that, I am full Nico Oso, like love. whatever you want to do. I play a lot of ABBA. They love ABBA. So <laughs> I love that's that. like definitely a go-to a lot. Um, I play Dembo, like Spanish music for the, pl like the players love the the playlist as well. Yeah. And um, I become like kind of like friends with them and, and yeah. that's cool. Grow uh, your circle that way as well. Yeah, dude. And recently they put a camera in front of my DJ setup and they'll go love DJ it. Cam and, the, and my boy Trey. I have like an intern that... Um, talks to the main room and then boom so uh who be like yo it's showtime and then i'm like oh like let's go and then they literally put me on the tv you know on the big ass screen like yeah. what is this how, like how is this happening and you're like prince affiliate the union let's go so you know and, and they appreciate that energy and um i don't think a lot of people they don't like say this and i don't know if i'm allowed to say it but i'm gonna say it, it's not anything bad okay. so don't you know what I'm saying? Don't give me that look. Okay. You make me nervous. Yes, I don't know um, how to say it. The union wins a lot of awards for best in show, like best best um, production really? value. Yeah, like they like literally the they take it very seriously, and the staff is so tight that like our game day shows, like we win awards for. I'm pretty sure we got one for this year, like the best pre-game show that's awesome and like that's no, part, you're part of like, that yeah dude and no, and no one knows and like it's like yo like we need to like tell people this like, yeah that's sick and you can feel it you've been to a union game it's been a very long time i got tickets for you whenever you're ready i haven't been to a union through. game since you yeah dude we're doing it but now i will slide come. it's crazy slide slide <laughs> the energy is crazy yeah i would love to it's awesome that and is so cool like uh, the other day, it was military night. They had someone jump out of the sky, planes flying <laughs> over, fireworks. I'm like, yo, what is going on? Yeah. Um, yeah, so they really do it. They really do it up there. And I'm like honored and blessed to be a part of that team yeah. and also be like trying to add value to that team. Cause like, you know, all the MLS teams are now adding DJs, you know? So it's like, all right, let's get together. Like, we yeah. need to like, you know, turn this up. Messi's on Miami. That that game was crazy. He wasn't there, but like everyone thought he was gonna be there. <laughs> so like, so the whole sold out. Seventeen thousand people. You know. Yeah. And like playing music from my little laptop. You yeah. Know, for seventeen thousand people. Is, Love that is just for you. Insane, dude. That's insane. awesome. And um, yeah, I have a game this Saturday, and we and also the timing, right? You know what's coming to Philly soon, right? On Saturday? Not on Saturday. The following, I know I Saturday, the following Monday and Tuesday? Following in a year or two. Oh, uh, yeah, the cup. 
what a time to be alive. What a, <laughs> what time. a time to be the union DJ. Yeah, dog. Like it's all about soccer right now. It's coming to Philly and right. like, we are up. The Premier League, I DJ'd for them as well. Premier we should, League. like rent our houses out. Yeah. Can you like, can you, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, wait, can yes. you let me, can you let me like borrow a few houses and then I'll rent, <laughs> I'll rent those out. And then, you know, we could like yeah, split we could the finesse money. It. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think, and now I think we, yeah, we got it. Yeah. You know, the circle. For sure. In a circle. <laughs> no, seriously though, in stadium DJ, I think that is super cool. I think that's, that's such an awesome fire. job. I think Rach does a great job with that. Yeah. I, that's like um if you were like, hey, you can't do real estate anymore, but you can pick any job you want. Like for like what would be like the most fun or like what was something that you would like love to do? And I yeah. think an in stadium host yeah. for me i think that's so i think that's so cool yeah I like do. i love sports so that's like another side of it um but i just think like the flyers have their people phillies have their people like i Dude, think it's and cool. you know all of their people we like i get you are one degree separation away from all of these people yeah promise so like if that's what you want to do and i told you last night like what are we doing let's go i know let's go you got the boards, we need to have like a USB. meeting this don't tell them Wait, did we talk about it already on the show? I don't know if we did. I don't think I did on the show. Talk about what? Whatever you were just about I don't to say. know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, what circle? Uh, <laughs> no, yeah. I we will talk this week cuz I have a lot of a lot in the schedule and yeah, bro. different Come stuff on, going. Man. I'm excited for. Um All right, well we blew through that. It was, there was not even a second of like uncertainty of like yeah what are we talking about what are we, no. i mean you threw me through a loop with the fries <sighs> yeah but that <laughs> but but like like waffle fries <clears throat> shoestring fries sweet potato fries like i'm just trying to i didn't be, even think about all the different variations I'm of fries trying to tap back into my you know i'm trying to like look within and within right now is fri fries fries you know <laughs> Title. <laughs> French fries with Nico Oso. Thank you. Um, okay, so do you want to give them your socials? Yeah, it's uh, at official Nico Oso, N-I-C-O-O-S-O -O -O, across all platforms. Um, nice and easy. What else do I got coming up? Uh, if you're in North Jersey, I'm coming, baby. I got exit six in, in uh, down the shore on Friday, Saturday, uh, Centrada, all house music. Ooh. Five hours. Hey, Nico Oso, five set. hours set. No laptop. <gasps> USB. Come on. CDJs? Yeah, bro. Hey. Not a single lyric will be played in five hours. I'm hyped for House, you. house. And then house, um, house. next week, uh, we're headed down to Florida, South Florida. We're hitting Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Um, where else are we going? Tampa. Tampa. Where are you playing in Tampa? <sighs> Crafty Show Bar. Crafty Squirrel. Yeah, dude. Yeah. We got to get you at the Floridian in downtown St. Pete. Downtown St. Pete, the Floridian. Yeah, very house music vibes. Yeah, dude. I've heard of that. I think I walked by it. Um, I've, well, after the show, I have some people I want to connect you with down there. Yeah, let's connect. Let's For take sure. the circle and push it somewhere else. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for having me. I, I cannot believe you just quoted that right now. <laughs> I love you so much. <laughs> well, I have I so it. much love for you. Oh, yeah. I love you too. I appreciate it. If you're not following me already, it's Jewel the Realtor on TikTok, Jewel underscore the Realtor on Instagram, Selling Your Circle podcast, Selling Your Circle on TikTok and Instagram as well. We're on YouTube. We're on Spotify. We're on Apple Podcasts. Anywhere you want to find us, more than likely, we're already there. So if you like what you're here, we would love for you to give us thumbs up, subscribe, follow, all the things. Check in and we will see you next time.